Hey there, it's Jane from Chalk Mercantile. I wanted to show you guys how I made this absolutely adorable little um, Halloween treat bag. I don't know where I got these bags, but they have this little black stripe down the side, and I just thought this was really cute. So what I did is I took three different um, orange colors and a, a light, a medium, and a dark. And I have a real bright, too, this really bright orange here. It's chalk paint. And I just kind of made like a circle in the approximate size of my stamp. And this is the new Iron Orchid um, Fruitful Harvest stamps that I'm using, and I absolutely love. So you take your ink pad, and I'm using ink over the chalk paint. And you just, hopefully, I've got some ink on here. And you just load it up, and I really load it up. All right, that looks good. Get that out of the way. And then you take your pumpkin and kind of place it. This is going to be hard with one hand. So I'll just place it on there and drop it down and then press. And you really want to give this a good press. Of course, you can't mess these up because it's kind of abstract looking or modern. Okay, let's see. There's our pumpkin. Now, how sweet is that? And it's so easy. You'll use a really small amount of paint. Get that reflection out of there. And you can really have fun. You can do green or white pumpkins, gray pumpkins, anything you want. And on this one, I added the leaf uh, stamp. These stamps are fabulous. They really, really are. You've got the giant pumpkin, there's smaller pumpkin up there, acorns, oak leaves, apples. There's two sheets of them. So give this a try for um, Halloween. I just think it's really sweet. Or these would be great for Thanksgiving. You could put treats or favors if you're um, hosting. So there it is, you guys. All you need is a little bit of chalk paint, the Iron Orchid Fruitful Harvest Stamp, and I'm using the Iron Orchid um, black ink and these little bags. And you're, you'll have this really cute little gift bag. All right, have fun. Happy painting, you guys.